Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Exin and Protein X. In my previous video, I already talked about the antibody structure. But in this video, I mainly focus the antibody sequence. So how to get this kind of antibody sequence and uh, detailed information about the CDR1, CDR2 and CDR3 sequence. So if you would like to construct the plasmid, so this is very much important to know that this kind of antibody sequence. So this is a little bit molecular level in this video I'll talk about. So let's begin. So here in my previous video I already showed this kind of schematic diagram of the antibody. So this is the antibody structure, y shaped antibody and here the green color that representing the constant part and the blue color that representing the variable part. So CH1, CH2 and CH3 this uh, three domain that belongs to heavy chain constant part and uh, and here the heavy chain VH that means that the heavy chain variable part and just beside it this heavy chain there is also VL and VCL so this is the light chain part so CL it representing the light chain constant part and VL that representing the light chain variable part and CH1 that representing the heavy chain constant part all right and also there this part is known as the fc or the fragment constant part and this part is known as the fragment antibody binding region and also additionally i would like to mention that cdr1 cdr2 and cdr3 this is very much important sequence sequence that i gonna focus here and uh, this sequence that located in the variable part so this cdr1 that uh, the, that CDR that uh, stand for the complementary determining region and this sequence are very much important to bind against the antigen epitope all right so here as you see in this map the antibody sequence map that CDR1 CDR2 and CDR3 so here is the light chain variable part uh, so light chain variable part contain the CDR1 CDR2 and CDR3 and uh, just beside this light chain constant part and then heavy chain variable part heavy chain, heavy chain variable part contain also CDR1, CDR2 and CDR3 and then heavy chain constant part all right so now the question is that how to get the detailed sequence of this antibody let's so i gonna show you that so you have to go to the NCY protein. So here, you have to type IgG antibody human, and then you get the IgG Homo sapiens. So you can click this one. And then you're gonna get the detailed information about this IgG antibody. So here is the detailed information that, and uh, if you go down, so this is the amino acid sequence of this antibody, this I IgG antibody. So this is around around 470 amino acid long chain, and if you look at carefully here this region so here as you see this is sig uh, signal peptide 1 to 19 so if you go further so 1 to 19 this is the signal peptide and also here as you see is mentioned that constant part so you see here uh, mature peptide 20 to 146 that uh, for variable region part all right so also you will get more detailed information that is exclusively only for the immunoglobin search, immunoglobulin search that is the IgG blast. So what you have to do, you have to you can copy from the copy the sequence from here, or you can copy this ID, and then you have to go to the. IgG blast 
IgG blast. So this is exclusively only for IgG. So you see the IgG blast database and I already paste here. So here only one thing you have to do. This you have to do the select the protein, alright, and then search. And here you get that detailed information about the CDR1, CDR2, and CDR3. So this is a fragment one that uh, lies from 20 to 44, and uh, CDR1 that is the 45 to 52 it is it is so if you go for, go there in that sequence so here is it's um they mentioning that uh, it's 45 to 52 so seven uh, amino acid eight amino acid long right so if you go further here 45 to 52 so here you see 45 so 10 20 30 40 40, 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 45 to 52. So this region is CDR1. So this is a, around 8, 8 amino acid, right? So this is a CDR1. And again CDR2. So the CDR2 is 70 to 77. So also this is the 8 amino acid long. So 70 to 77. 70, so 60, 60, um, 70. This is 70 to 77. So this is 70, 77 here. Alright. So this is also around 8 amino acid long. And also CDR3 is here. CDR3 is 116, only one amino acid that's mentioning here. Only one amino acid. That is 116. So if you go here, 116 where, so 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So this is 120 and around this is 1, this is 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. So this is T. So only this T is only for CDR3. That's what they are mentioning here. So also there are different kind of um, other amino, other IgG. They uh, here it's uh, aligned. So this is the align, alignment result. So here actually basically you will get this kind of information. So this is all about this. So I hope you can you can get through this kind of sequence. And uh, if you would like to uh, do the and the cost if you would like to make the construct the plasmid then you have to copy the, the sequence from here and you have to you have to make a snapgen file and you have to add this kind of feature that which is cdr1 which is constant part which is very heavy emission variable part all you can get from here so i hope this video will be helpful so if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and please and please subscribe my channel and also i i already made one video on IgG blast exclusively so I will I will give the link of that video so if you want you can watch that video as well so thanks